Hello, my name is Ekel O'Hara and this is the Future Fiction Factory and we are investigating today. We're not testing, we're not touching any AIs, we're investigating. Today we're trying to figure out whether or not there was a sneaky release of GPT 4.5 or 5. I don't know which one it would be, but was it slipped into the world quickly? I mean, quietly, actually. The reason that I am wondering about this is because I went to uh, Matt Bierman. He is a YouTuber who I get a lot of my large language models from because he does a lot of testing of them. I test them for creative purposes. He tests them for more technical things. So I looked him up and it was one of those uh, weird moments where I was like, oh, I have really got to get to this. And then I got to it and I wasn't able to actually use the same thing that he had been talking about. So what I did was I went to the site, I looked at everything and everything was hunky-dory. And then today when I went to shoot my video, I did not have any access to that large language model anymore. So what is a tester, a scientist, a person who gets these large language models to sing. What do I, what am I supposed to do about that? Well, I decided to see whether or not there was any real thing behind the fact that it may be GPT 4.5. Now, I have to say there is a couple of weird things that happened. All right, so Sam Altman put this on X. It says, I do have a soft spot for GPT-2. Now, GPT-2 is from long ago in a galaxy far, far away, and it was much more, it was much less robust. But this particular post has been edited. I caught somebody else's edit. One said GPT-2, which basically means that chat bot, right? But the original one, the original one had a dash in it, which indicated that it was maybe more. Now you can see, now it says GPT-2 like it's some kind of weird little, anyway, it's a little sus, a little suspicious. So what I did was I went to re reentry.co dot, I mean, slash GPT-2. Too. And uh, this uh, particular gentleman was investigating things. And one of the first things that you can see on here is that it says that this is a work in progress, this page, and then conclusions will likely change with more information that is collected. So I don't want you, I want you to kind of take this with a grain of salt. But if we are getting close to a GPT-5 release, then things in the literary world might significantly change on a quick in a quick, quick way. The fact that that actually uh, Limsim, Limsis uh, decided to drop this particular model and stop using it because people were starting to ping them a lot because they thought it was GPT uh, 4.5 or 5. And so a lot of their policies, their model evaluation policies that they use over at Limsim, Limsis, which is, Limsis is a place where you can like compare, compare large language models right next to each other, kind of in a battle royal sort of thing. It, it's, let's see here. It says uh, uh, chat.limsis.org en enables users to chat with various LLMs and rate their output without needing to log in. One of the models recently available was GPT. Two dash chatbot, which demonstrated uh, demonstrates capabilities far greater, greater, greatly beyond that of any known GPT two model. It is available for chatting with in the direct chat, also in the arena, which is the battle area, 
where which is the initially uh, then uh, which is the initially blinded version uh, for benchmarking, so that you can benchmark the two things right against each other and see which one produces faster in the whole nine yards. Uh, there's no information to be found on this particular model named anywhere on the site or elsewhere. The results generated by Limsys benchmarks are available via their API for all models except for this one. Access to GPT-2 chatbot was later disabled by Limsys. Now, here's the quick rundown. Given its overall performance, output format, formatting, special tokens, stop tokens, vulnerabilities, and resistance to specific prompt injections and different overflows, assistance instructions, contact details, autobiograph autobiographical info, combined with the very specific OpenAI API errors message, I consider it almost certain that this model is in fact from OpenAI. I. I also would like to say that I think that it is also from OpenAI because somebody said, hey, I do like, I do have a soft spot in my heart for GPT-2. This is Limsys. If you look right here, this is actually where you can do the battle royal and you can put one model in here and one model in there and then have them like do the exact same prompts. I've done something very similar to this when I've used something like Open Router and I have multiple language models open and I have them all pinged out with the same type of top P and all of that stuff. And I'm able to do some direct comparisons. Well, this Limsys, that's L-M-S-Y-S uh, L -M -S -Y -S dot org, is a great place to do that stuff, but they made chat, uh, chat the GPT-2 chatbot uh, unavailable. And they want you to, if you uh, see their evaluation models, if you want to, you could click through to their actual evaluation models and see what their policies are about evaluating uh, things. But that's not what I wanted. What I wanted to do was play with this daggone thing and I wasn't able to do it. Which is very, very sad. You can do the, I mean, it's not even available inside of the direct chat, nothing. So we don't have the ability to actually touch it. But was it GPT 4.5? Was it? Was it that thing that we all are hoping will be released very soon? And remember, there's been a lot of large language models out lately, and I'm pretty sure that GPT 4.5 or 5 is coming. My name is Ekel O'Hara. This has been the Future Fiction Factory. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.